Welcome back to episode 94 of Teachers in Transition, the podcast and the YouTube channel. My name is Kitty Boytnot. I'm the founder of Teachers in Transition and the owner of Boytnot Coaching. And if you've listened to me in the past, you know that I alternate topics. One week I talk about stress management strategies because I'm a certified stress management coach. And on alternating weeks, I talk about career transition strategies because I'm a heart-centered career transition and job search coach with years of experience working mostly with teachers who are ready to make a career change but need help because they don't know how or where to start. This week, the subject matter is stress. And as I record this message, it's January 12th, 2021, not quite a week after the rioting, seditionist activities that took place in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat what I think about what happened last Wednesday. It was awful. Watching it beyond stressful, distressful, dismaying, sickening. Those were my reactions to it. And so any thought that we had that 2021 was going to offer us some sort of respite from the stress and strain of 2020, ha ha, Jokes on us, right? But that doesn't mean that we can't individually do whatever we need to do to take care of ourselves. And because of that, I want this week to share with you. uh, I have shared in the past, I will reshare my cheat sheet on stress management in case you just want a down and dirty cheat sheet. I will also offer again uh, the the link to my ebook on stress. It's called Stressed, Stretched, and Just Plain Overwhelmed. And I am also going to include a link to a, it's an illustrated guidebook that has been published by the World Health Organization. And so in today's message, I want to share with you some of the main strategies that this booklet sponsored by and published by the World Health Organization, some of the terms that they use to help explain how we can manage our stress more proactively and productively. Uh, And one of the things that they talk about is how When we are really stressed and we start to get lost in the stress and the emotions that go along with the stress, the irritability, you know, the crankiness, the um, sense of of, uh, outrage that we can feel when when we're not totally in the moment, they call that getting hooked, being hooked by your emotions, as opposed to being grounded and becoming aware of your feelings and your situation. That when we can, when we can disengage from the emotions of the moment and, and more or less observe ourselves and our reactions to a situation, we can avoid getting hooked, but when we're in the moment, you know, when we're in that that fresh indignation over something that somebody said or something somebody did, then we're hooked. We've allowed ourselves to get hooked in that moment and we act out accordingly, usually not in the healthiest of ways. So we need to take time as a stress management strategy to ground ourselves and to become more self-aware. They also talk about the importance of acting on your values. 
and remembering who you really are at your core. And they talk about the importance of being kind, not just to other people, but to yourself. You know, in the book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, when he talks about um, not taking anything personally, he, he talks about how you shouldn't do that to yourself either. It, that you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk about other people and you shouldn't talk ugly to yourself either. It may not be that one that I'm thinking about. They're, the four agreements are um, never take anything personally, never assume anything, Always do your best. And now I forget what the fourth one is. But in that book, he talks specifically about how we talk to ourselves as well as how we talk to and about others. And he does a really nice job of reminding us that often we, we speak in our heads to ourselves worse than we would ever think to speak to someone else. And usually that happens when we're in that moment of being hooked into a, a negative emotion. Resentment can add to it. Um, a, feel, a feeling of umbrage about something that's happened at work or at home. A, a feeling of being taken for granted. All of, all of those feelings that we all have felt at one point or another. So remembering to be kind to yourself as well as to others. Engaging in the moment as opposed to allowing yourself to get hooked away and all embroiled in the emotions of the moment. Engaging with what is real and what is in your specific experience right now at this moment. So those are some of the suggestions that they offer. It's really quite well done. It's illustrated. So, you know, any, any age group can read it and get value from it. So I'm going to include the link and, and a thank you to the World Health Organization for having provided the book, this particular booklet on stress and stress management. And that's all I have to say today, because anything else I have to say is just, it, it will just sound trite. We are living in serious times and I don't, I don't want to minimize the seriousness of it. We're living in a precarious age and it feels like to me that we have some serious choices to make individually and collectively about what kind of world we want moving forward. And I can't tell you how you should choose, but I will encourage you to get back in touch with your core values and think about good versus evil. Because I want to suggest to you that what we witnessed last Wednesday was evil at work, not good. There was nothing good about that. Now that's my opinion, but I don't think anybody who's thinking clearly and looking at that situation clearly can say that it was anything but evil. And so we need to, we need to confront that. But at the same time, we have to take care of ourselves and our families and our community by getting back in touch with our true core values, which is being kind, taking care of one another, supporting one another, lifting each other up. 
And that's it for today. Have a wonderful week. Please stay well, stay safe. I'll see you next week.